So here we're going to look at assigning VCAs or what are more commonly on digital consoles called DCAs, but DigiDesign and Avid have decided to keep the VCA terminology from analog worlds. So we're on our VCA tab here on the output faders. I'm going to select the first VCA. And here it shows members that are currently assigned our channels 1 to 10, because this was a drum group. So we're going to hit multi-assign above the main fader here. And on the left side of the console, all these channels are now flashing because they're in one and the scribble strip showing one. So I'm just going to unassign them all. We'll hit multi-assign here and they all disappear. If we go back into multi-assign, channels 1 to 10 are no longer in a VCA. To put them back in, we just select them again. Hit multi-assign and they're all back in there. Groups works fairly similarly. We select a channel. And in the bus assign section here, we can assign straight to our left, right, to the center or mono output, or to eight subgroups, which can be mono or stereo, depending on how you've set the DSP up on the console. And right above that section is our mute group and function switch section. We're just going to be concentrating on mutes right now. So you see I've assigned, turned on mute group one, and these four channels have started flashing because they're in mute group one. To see what's in Mute Group 1 and similar to the VCAs, you just hit Assign. Now that Mute Group 1 is flashing below. The mute lights are flashing, the select lights are flashing, and the scribble strip is flashing 1 to show that these are in 1. We just again select them, take us out of Assign. They are no longer in that Mute Group. To put them back in, we hit Assign, 1, 2, 3, 4, hit Assign again, and there they are muting.